so hello again and welcome to my vlog um, don't worry it's not aliens it's a blue light and this blue light is a light box because it's nearly midwinter here um, I decided to buy this light box and the light box is called a Philips HF342003 intense blue energy up energy light Phew, that's quite a handful of a name um, and it's got three settings um, like so. Um, I've only been using oh, that's light. I've only <laughs> I've only been using it for a few. Um, <laughs> I've only been using it for a few days, and you're meant to use it for half an hour each day. But it it seems to be good. I use it in the morning. I'm getting up earlier anyway. Anyway, back to inspiration. Um, so I'm just gonna have a quick talk today. Um, just off the top of my head about inspiration. So in whoops, that's my seat. Um, so inspiration is a hard thing, isn't it? Because I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes you're inspired to do something and you have lots of energy. And you do it, you know, you do all your drawings or you're making stuff or, you, you know, you have all these ideas. And then other times you're not inspired at all and it's not that good. You know, nothing's good. Nothing seems interesting. The work you're working on seems kind of rubbish and that sort of thing. So... Um, so inspiration. So I'm going to tell you about what inspires me um, personally, my main drive for what I create and also what I like to do um, in life generally. So my my inspiration, my, my what I think is my inspiration at the moment inside of me is that um, I think we live in a, you know, we live in a technological world. I've always been interested in technology, but a lot of people see technology as bad you know things like the internet is is um taking up too much time is there's a lot of rubbish on the internet um there's a lot of rubbish on tv technology creates wars technology kills people en masse you know like weapons atomic bombs you know things like that so technology can do bad things but it but what i believe in that it can it should be seen in a positive light and technology can uplift us you know it can make us our lives really really good because imagine where i am you know even 50 years ago in edinburgh or 100 years ago in edinburgh where i'm living at the moment it would have been a time when everything was closed in you know you didn't have airplanes going all around the world for example outside where i'm staying at the moment um the windows facing north over the fourth which is a really nice channel and you see planes coming down into the airport so i mean in theory you could go to that airport and get get connected to anywhere in the world and there are people coming off there connected to anywhere in the world so wherever you are in the world like san francisco london new york um, malaysia japan africa wherever you are in the world you could you're connected to where i am and i'm connected to you by air travel um so that's an amazing thing and, and I get this feeling when I, I'm in cities or airports or traveling, there's great energy. And, um, you know, and when you've got, you know, the people, the energy, people moving, connections, you know, the World Wide Web, everything's connected. I think I think that's pretty amazing. And, you know, and, and obviously we have a lot of rubbish going on with the Internet. So we have, you know, Facebook, um, you know, I don't mean um, Facebook is is really bad, but you know it, it's um it can get get in your way it can become like a drug same with twitter i mean i'm quite bad at twitter i mean if you follow me on twitter i'm always twittering and um sometimes i think that it could be, feel a bit spammy actually i'm always trying to get you to go to my online shop or look at my latest blogcast and that and the reason why i'm doing that is obviously I'm, you know i'm building up my business like other people using twitter and social media like that um but at the end of the day technology I really think it's a good thing and it's just something that makes me really really um feel this energy for the, when everything's connected it's like wow you know it's, it's amazing and um i hope as the future goes by that the technology progresses and we don't have some sort of apocalypse or something where um we just get bla blasted back to the stone age um like that um so you might see my board at the back this is um um, some inspiration um, these are these are very quick sketches and these are for uh, my latest work which is going to be using FabLab technologies and it's about world expos um, there's going to be three um, sculptures on the wall 
and each of them represents a world expo that didn't really happen. Um, you'll see what I mean when I've made it. And these these drawings, whoops, that sorry, the camera just stalled a bit there. But these drawings are basically going to go onto laser cuts, and these are going to be etches. So look out for that um, in the next week or so, and for Christmas as well. There's going to be other stuff going on there, like interactivity and and 3D prints and stuff like that. But the main inspiration for that is the connection and the technology. Um, the message of technology and also you know I'm using technological things with that um, artwork as well so that's really exciting so for me inspiration is is technology and how technology can be an almost emotional thing like connecting humans connecting us connecting friends loved ones etc all around the world using technology um, so yeah I think it's it's we live in an amazing age so for you to be inspired, this is what keeps me going, this is why I make art every day. Um, and for you to be inspired, to get inspiration, you need to find what really, really um, you enjoy. Yeah. So if you enjoy a certain thing, you should really need to go into that and then and then look at it, look why you enjoy it, um, see if that's the thing that, that drives you in life, and then you can make more art because that will inspire you to do art based on what you really are passionate about. So thanks very much. I'll leave you there. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my art site jamesaverlart.com for more art resources and also my online shop and examples of my work as well. But I've got loads and loads of Fab Lab stuff going on at the moment. I'm going to go to the Mac Lab which is over in Glasgow to get um, to get all these done and I'm going to do this and then another big project um, over Christmas. Some more to come on that. So thanks very much and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.